But um, yeah, no. Shout out to the people that uh, shout out to that post that uh, asked that question because I do think that was a bullshit loaded question. It gave me content, so I don't have any issue with it. <laughs> I um, mean, uh, I don't know if you necessarily hit that on the head there. What? Because you say like, all right, you talking about like men basically giving the the equal response as like women, right? Just because they cry doesn't mean that my equivalent response is crying. Yeah. Yes. So Agreed. when you but talk about still, it being equal, that the the reaction is enough. Like I'm just talking like genuine hurt. Can we talk about like for your for a man's feelings to get hurt? Doesn't a woman have to do something like it's, uh, increasingly substantial? If uh, if I go home and I don't notice my wife's uh, uh, newly done hair and her. Freshly painted fingernails. First mm. of all, bitch, you didn't do that for me. You did it for your fucking homegirl because I don't care. I married you. But nonetheless, uh, God damn it, hit my cancel button. That was so unnecessary, please. <laughs> Warning. Cancel culture. That was so mode. unnecessary. But I make the point <laughs> of saying that because there's a, that can hurt a woman's feelings. Okay. If I go home and I got a fresh lineup, I don't give a fuck if you notice that. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. That's what I mean, that the mag, like the things that hurt women aren't the same things that hurt men. Even mm-hmm. if the reaction is not crime, just hurt feelings alone. Okay. I don't think a woman not noticing that a man got a lineup is going to hurt that man's feelings. Predominantly. Unless you're a bitch. <coughs> or pregnant. Oh, God. <laughs> Hit the button again. <laughs> Warning. Cancel nice. culture is in <laughs> It'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's why I say like yes, the, the reaction is not always crying. It's just the easy go to for an example. Yeah. But even I'm even if just the standard of hurt feelings, I no. think that takes a lot for a man in comparison to a woman. Okay. I mean, I get what you're saying, but I feel like we're, we're gonna we're gonna just agree to disagree because no, 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 no. yeah, make your point, make your point, little nigga. I'm, we're just there. <laughs> I guess like I'm there. thinking like in my household, like yeah, I could say something about you not noticing. But for me, it comes down to a, is it worth the drama type thing? It's not necessarily but that it doesn't hurt. hurt. Uh, yeah. It, that's what I'm saying. It might, it may not necessarily in that particular situation. No, I don't. I, oh, I so you're weighing shirts. your options as to if you want to have that Correct. Or not. Like there are times when my feelings get hurt, but instead of going straight into an argument, I'm like, all right, this is, is this worth it? No. But, but does still, that mean my feelings aren't hurt? But still, okay. So let's take that for an example because great. Let's take that for an example in a sense of, a woman is more inclined to bring up something like that than a man would bring up. Even mm-hmm. if your feelings are hurt, your feelings are not hurt to the degree of bringing it up, of having that confrontation. Because I'm sure there are many women on this planet that will say, fuck, I think I might have just walked myself in a hole because I don't think there's any woman on the planet that will say, you know what, that's not an argument worth having. Yep. <laughs> I'm like... Where you go, where I you instantly going with this? realized that like where you going with this one? Yeah, I was, I was curious. I was like, I was, I was about to say, like, I'm pretty sure there are women on this planet that will say, you know what, that's not an argument worth having. And that I've, I've, I have not met that woman. And I was going to hop on my unicorn and <laughs> fly was, back home after I that, too. Yeah, I was wondering where he was going with this. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this Lord. is the standard y'all have created for yourselves. And we are just observers <laughs> okay. in y'all world. But anyways, <laughs> but I would hope there are situations where women will say that's not worth addressing in a in a volatile or an argumentative manner. And just like men weigh that option too, because the degree of how important that is is not severe enough for me to address it in that matter. That's me speaking for the women that actually do weigh their options in arguments. There we go. I mean, they're unicorns. <laughs> the only reason why I say that is because man or woman, biologically speaking, everybody experiences an emotion Facts. before you even get to the logical point. The difference, there you, women well really well stop said. at that emotional part. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and just they, go through. <laughs> they really let that seep in. I agree with that. While I men are that. more likely to try to bypass the emotions, that's a societal well, thing. We though. bypass the emotions to either get to rage or we get to shut down. So yep. it's, one, it's one of the two. But then what he's saying also, I think, is, is a really good point. Um, as far as what a woman would have to do to get me to the point that I could point. get you. And I think it, it does take more. Mm-hmm. It does yeah. take more. But I think the... 
it comes down to the makeup of the man. It, it really does. Yeah. I think it comes down. It comes down to the makeup. Would you agree? One hundred percent. It comes I, down to the makeup of the man. Yes, but th- then you individualize everybody, and we don't do that here. So we can't. No, I mean, we exactly. create a, yes. you gotta create it has a to medium. be. You gotta create a medium. Exactly. So exactly. when you look at the medium, that's why I say it just it universally takes more to piss off a man than it would to take a, piss off a woman. Dude, you'd be surprised because I think a lot of us gravitate towards people who are like us. So you'd be surprised when the, I the thing that pisses off a man is it comes from women that know him. The yes. only thing that yes. pisses is, yes, but that requires you investing in some kind of shit. Can't no fucking stranger piss me off. I bet you I could walk out to the fucking mall. I could walk into Walmart right now and piss three women off easily. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? <laughs> Bam! I got but, three criers right but, now. No, I don't think so. Or a razors. woman can't walk or, into Walmart and make or, three men cry. Or you have three bruises. Depends on the woman. It just depends, <laughs> just on, the depends on the woman. But the point I'm making just is, the same as it there's no on the woman man. on this planet that can walk into Walmart and make three men cry. No. I, yes, no. Off words. So, no. But there are things any man on this planet can say but you that are, will make all women cry. But you have to pick the right woman. You'd have Agreed. to pick the... Okay, so we're okay with that. Yeah, but unicorns. You're talking about tough women. You know, we're, not, we're not talking about tough women. I mean, I'm sorry, the, I'm sorry. That was unnecessary. Oh, so that's not unicorn. <laughs> hit, the, hit, the, hit the button, please. <laughs> One. Cancel culture this, is This is my show. Who put this thing in charge of my pods? <laughs> oh, don't you worry. This, I got this it. Is, this is my show. Yes, <laughs> sir. I, I got it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. No, but I think I think you do make a good point. And I'm like, I hate sometimes. <laughs> right. I really do it bothers me. Is because I'm a dumbass millennial? No. Actually, you're, well, you're not dumb at all. No, I'm that's, absolutely that, dumb. That's the best that's part. That's for you guys. That's I am best, dumb. That is the best part. Um, but when you're right, I have to just say, fuck, you're right. No, I just make argument. I, I, you know well, that argument make, comes you from a, you make a good argument. The standpoint of <laughs> conversational listening. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I could roll into this next topic, but we're running tight on time for the free niggas. So. <laughs> <laughs> we are running tight it. on time for the free niggas. Um, it. we can dabble in this new one, uh, this next one, and okay. then we'll, we'll we'll see where it goes. Okay. Um, but I'm watching the clock. Um. Yeah. Increasing ease of objectification. Ooh. I think I brought this up. This is my topic that I picked because uh, the Bugs Bunny challenge. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Oh man, it's the funniest shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know that face. <laughs> so there's a Bugs Bunny challenge okay. based off a song. I have no idea what the name of the song is because I don't listen to new niggas. But uh, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but trash. it's it's a it's a. Uh, I don't think that song's. A- <laughs> it says Bugs Bunny. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm pretty sure it says these bitches something 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 it's, Bugs it's, Bunny. It's, it's slowed Bunny. down. That's not the actual tempo. Oh, okay. Of the original so song. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a song that says something along the lines of women, Bugs Bunny. So what the women are doing, they're laying on their stomach on the bed and they're holding their phone like this okay. while they're laying on the stomach, and their feet are up. Oh, uh, okay. The ears. Are, so okay. the feet are playing as ears. Okay. But then what they lead into a lot of them um, on TikTok. I don't know why I'm on fucking TikTok because, you know. Oh, it's fun. Well, the, the blacks yeah, are currently be. protesting TikTok right now. Really? Yeah. Why? Dive in. Did I miss a meeting? We'll get into the Patreon uh, version of that. Okay. We'll talk about that on an extended version. Gotcha. Um, but, uh, so, but I do, I have to scroll TikTok because I got to see what it, the rave is and it's so much content. So, so I have to like be able to speak on it. So the Bugs Bunny Challenge is women are like putting their feet up as their ears. So they're moving their feet as as if they're ears. Yeah. But then what they do is they 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 pop their they, they poke their ass up. They do the arch. Gotcha. And they're usually wearing either a thong or some really like pretty panties or something like that. And I'm just looking at this and I'm like, what we're we're this is the part where you're probably gonna create some bullshit ass excuse about, oh, it's my body and it's art and you should just appreciate that. G- bitch, shut the fuck up. I got criticism for the Mona Lisa for days. I got some things to say about the Mona Lisa. So if your body is art, I got some criticism for you. (laughs) You make it so fucking easy for me to objectify you. You really fucking do. And then get mad when we do. Then get mad when I objectify you. You open the fucking door and mad when we walk the fuck through it. Interestingly enough, I actually watched, there was another content creator who made a point about that. And he was talking about like one of his videos, he had posted something. And it was literally just like inspirational, and he barely got any hits on it. Yeah, but he posted the same message and put like a picture, like it was like a video of like some girls twerking next to his face. Yeah, and 
like, so it's an algorithm thing too. You know what I'm saying? Oh They're no, no, no. I made that to... joke. No question. I made that joke way back in episode 11. Shout out to Yami for that episode. Um, <laughs> that guy is 16 and pregnant. That was the name of the episode. That's hilarious, by the way. <laughs> But I made that comment about Yami in episode way back in episode eleven because she was showing yeah, off her body. Yeah. yeah, she was showing off her body because she had just had came out of pregnancy like uh, several months before, and she was showing off her body. And I made the comment like, "Yo, you know how like niggas always have like a fitness bitch in like their their picture." I was like, "We're just gonna use that picture, and then we're gonna roll into like the clip of the podcast episode right. to help the algorithm." I had made that joke, but like that's serious shit. Like, cause mm-hmm. I, my shit gets muted on TikTok. That's why I don't post on TikTok anymore for the, the podcast. Because I know if I see nigger bitches and faggots, they aren't going to fuck with that on TikTok. They're Fast. going to mute me. But if I'm a bitch and I'm twerking and I wrote niggers, bitches, and faggots on my ass cheek, yep. hits. Hits for days. More thirst than hate. Yep. Facts. So my... But there's a deeper, like, there's a deeper part of this that, like, that I'm more concerned about. And so, again, that's why you bring the older niggas on. So I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. She's five. And so I... 